Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. This is episode number seven today. Hope you're all doing all right. Happy Tuesday to you. Uh, today, we are going to have a fun one. I'm finally going to pick who my founder's evolution is going to be. Uh, and we'll also do an advanced SBC, some other SBCs. Basically, working your way through ultimate team through the menus that sort of thing if you enjoy do me a favor keep throwing the amazing support on this on these uh, episodes on this whole series and smash that thumbs up button let's go for six thousand likes today and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if you are new so um you know what the squad is looking like currently. Uh, in fact, it's going to change any moment to something else that I put together. Uh, I think maybe that sort of front six, that top six, are, are going to kind of stay the same. Uh, but then there's some changes in defense that I need to make just to shore things out a little bit. Um, so this is a squad that I put together right here. Come on, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I've got to go and change. Sweet. Okay, cool. Squad. I thought I made a transition, but I just went to uh, to change it. So there is the squad that I've put together. All right. Um, so actually, the whole team does change around a little bit. I do. I do apologize. But uh, yeah, we've got we've brought in uh, some Prem players, basically. Uh, we've got Trent. We've got um, Paul Torres. We've got Van der Ven. We've got uh, Dan Juma, who is the player that I've decided can go into the Founders' evolution. Uh, him, Werner, and Darwin Nunez are like the three most popular players to put into this. And I have an untradeable Dan Juma. He's the only one of those three which is four-star skills uh, off the get-go uh, and will become four-star skill, five-star weak foot by the end of these uh, six squad battles games uh, and actually have some really good stats as well. So I figured that's not a bad shout and uh, I'm quite happy to put an untradeable Dan Juma into the SBC uh, as, as I think, well, looks, looks like a quality card. So uh, that's my choice. Who did you choose for your um, evolutions for the Founders Evolutions. I want you to let me know in the comments below uh, if you've got the game already and you're playing it and uh, and you've chosen your player. I'm curious. Uh, but yeah, essentially I just went into the the squad battles modes and uh, uh, the first one to get a, a plus one evolution is up to 82. Just takes two squad battles matches and then you have to play four squad battles matches to get the next version of him. So uh, we'll sort of do that off camera and you'll see it basically really quickly uh, appear. Uh, so here we go, back into the evolutions and uh, I've only got Relentless Winger and Golden Glow Up Part 2 now to, to choose players for and do if I want to. Uh, but Dan Juma, look at that lovely card design, 83 overall rated with 89 pace, 84 shooting. I think it was like 86 dribbling and 4 star skill, 5 star weak foot. A, a, a particularly good option, I think, um, for the start of the game. So uh, yeah, I was was pretty happy uh, and 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 pleased with with the choice that I made there. Um, I know that. I mean, I said to you that I kind of didn't want to necessarily be a sheep and go with what everyone else is going with. Um, but I realized how easy it is to get quite good players on this game so far. Uh, and that that Oka 4 uh, Milan striker is just nowhere near my, near my team anymore. So even an upgraded version of him wouldn't be getting in. So I think Dan Juma can at least last for a little while um, or be a decent player off the bench. So um, that's why I made the choice as I did. Uh, so we've actually reached level 15 now, gone up through the XP, uh, just from playing those squad battles matches and stuff. I ended up getting like the daily, the weekly, the bi-weekly objectives done. Uh, so we get an 85 plus player pack and also the choice between Baltimore or Wilms. And uh, I chose the French PSG lady with 88 pace, 89 passing, 88 dribbling. Uh, I did sort of take a little look at the stats for a while uh, before I made my choice because I wasn't quite sure if I'd come back to regret it. I knew that this girl was quite short and also doesn't have the greatest skills and weak foot, but I also need to remember I'm not necessarily going to be using all of these cards, uh, so don't worry too much about it. Just take one that you think looks interesting, and I have to say, this card does look interesting. Um, yeah, a, a very, very solid stats for the for this 
moment of the game, like the regular edition of of, of Ultimate Team of, of FC24 isn't even out yet until Friday, of course. Um, so we're just Ultimate Edition players at the moment. Uh, but welcome, Baltimore, to the club. And um, we also have a couple of other minor types of packs to uh, to open. Here we get a Team of the Year from Nob. Uh, it is, uh, wait, no, it's not Team of the Year. It's just a Sudamericana um, from Neil's Old Boys. But yeah, we end up getting... Uh, uh, a Sudamericana, which is a cool uh, pack design, I have to admit, the, the blue and stuff, but yeah, it's, it's too early to be getting a, a team of the year, so don't get baited, uh, my friends. Uh, 77 rated Kone is there. I've got a feeling there might be a, he might be one of the players for later on in the season objectives with a really stacked card, so uh, if that is the case, there's, there's a couple of really nice cards towards the end of the season objectives. One of them is, uh, I think, Mateus Cunha from, from Wolves. Uh, looks 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 a bit of a beast, not going to lie. So here's my 85-plus rare goal player. Croatian centre mid from Real Madrid. Oh, my friends, it's going to be a, light, a, a nice link to uh, Rodrigo. We've gone and packed ourselves uh, a Luka Modric. Uh, you know what? I'm really happy with that. That is certainly a decent midfielder. Uh, for my secondary mid spot, you know, next to Marcos Lorente. Uh, and of course, he does help with like Rodrigo's chemistry, which is a big plus. Uh, he does have a play style plus. I think it's to do with his passing or dribbling or something like that. It's nothing to do with like pace or anything, um, anything super meta anyway. Uh, but yeah, Luka Modric, welcome to the club, my friend. Um, so we're down on chem at the moment because as you can see, I've got a couple of Dutch players from the Eredivisie, or, or actually I've just got a couple of Eredivisie players uh, in the squad at left wing and right back. I was um, in the background doing uh, a couple of the games for the... The Milestones, Erid of Easy play. You can basically unlock three more players. This right here, Squad Foundations, Erid of Easy. It's tucked way down in the Milestones section if you're uh, struggling to find it. Um, but it's going to cost you 10 games uh, of either squad battles or rivals uh, in order to unlock this. You need to do things like score 10 goals with an Erid of Easy player, assist five goals with an Erid of Easy player, and then essentially just play six and then, well, play 10 uh, overall to get to get all of those players unlocked with a, a little pack or two as well. Um, if you're doing squad battle stuff anyway, maybe you're trying to level up your evolution or something, I would recommend just going and giving it a go um, because uh, you, you're getting all sorts of milestones done just from playing squad battles. So, uh, and, and also, I ended up getting a, a rare mega pack for 300 assists just by, just essentially naturally um, by, by playing those games and getting that done. So, I was uh, I was relatively happy with what we've managed to to get out of, of of that. So actually, I think it's probably tomorrow's episode where we will complete that Erid of Easy thing uh, and actually unlock the other two players. But um, at the moment, I'll focus on like the advanced SBCs and stuff. And that all came around because of this pack right here. So it's a it's a pretty sort of unassuming pack. It's just a, a two rare gold player pack. We get a double eighty four, which I'm I'm pretty happy about. But I get a, a duplicate 84 Luis Alberto, and I didn't really know what to put him into. And I knew I still had uh, like the uh, advanced SBCs to do, so I thought, hey, league and nation hybrid. We're gonna, I'm gonna try and use players that are in my club already, and I'm gonna try and get this done. So I didn't go on any of the foot websites and try and get help there. I just tried to do this one on my own. I noticed the chemistries weren't too difficult, or too. Uh, yeah, too much of a challenge, so um, I could get this one done on my own uh, just from sort of having a little bit of foot knowledge and players and stuff like that. So uh, I stuck Luis Alberto into one of the 80-rated overall squads. Uh, I got myself a 50k pack for my troubles, lovely stuff, and we can open up this rare mega pack that we got from our assists and get ourselves an inform from Brighton. It is, of course, going to be the 84-rated Lamptey, 91 pace, 83 dribbling, 81 defending. Um, I must admit, when I look at this card, I think, wow, pretty decent card. And then I take a look in game and I'm like, okay, five foot four, two star skill moves, uh, 40 something strength. Maybe it's not going to be as good as uh, the, the face stats suggest. Uh, but let me know if you've used Inform Lamptey. I'm, I'm curious to know, does he work well in your, uh, your Premier League squad? Because, uh, well, he, he could probably fit in somewhere in my team. 
So let's work on the next three parts of this advanced SBC. This one is actually called advanced. Um, so yeah, you'll notice my coin balance will probably be going down a little bit. I've been trying to use players mainly from the club. Uh, but when you do have like high chemistry requirements, uh, sometimes it's, you just have to go out and buy some stuff as well. So this is a rare players pack then. Are we going to get anything good? I see an Italian Roma cam. Who's this going to be then? Uh, it's just an 83 rated Pellegrini, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, from a rare players pack, I would I would hope to get a walkout or a double walkout, uh, but that's not the case in this one. Um, and I'm not going to complain too much. You know, we've got Oshoalo, we've got um, Rodrigo, we've got like Luis Diaz and Lorente and Modric, and I, I've, I've got nearly a 500,000 coin team at the current market prices. It's a little bit crazy, to be fair. Uh and the one thing I will say, and for those of you that wondered, the, you know the other day when I bought that Rolfo, um, the Swedish left back from Barcelona women, uh, I bought it for 18,000 coins. And then apparently I woke up, I woke up yesterday morning as you're watching this. Uh, and apparently the pros had been on about how good she is. And she'd sky, skyrocketed to 80,000 coins. I think she might have settled down a little bit now. Maybe I've missed my window to sell for maximum profit. And maybe I don't really want to sell because she's a good card. Um, but yeah, like the the the, the trading, the, like I, I might be an amazing trader just out of nowhere. Just saying. Uh, yeah, so that, that was quite a shock. Uh, we've, we've got a card that's worth way more uh, than what I paid for it. And I bought, I must have bought her like on Saturday or something. Like after Ultimate Edition had been out for a few hours at least. A day probably yeah it's weird that some of the prices really skyrocketed i guess as people learn the meta um certain cards are going to absolutely fly and i guess some cards that also means are gonna are, are gonna plummet uh, when people realize oh wait they're not as good as i thought they might be even though they're high rated or got good stats it doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be amazing so uh yeah, interesting. I don't know anything about the, the Ultimate Team market, but um, it's interesting to see stuff. And, and most of the time, uh, things are going to go against me and I'll end up losing coins. But this is one of those small wins where, well, I, it's not a win until I actually sell Rolfo, but I don't plan on doing that. So uh, <laughs> probably end up selling it for less than I bought it for in, in a month or something like that. But um, we get ourselves, I thought I was going to get Courtois right there. Would have been quite nice. Uh, but we get Castiles instead. Uh, I still get in this visual bug where, the, where the, the side panels are sort of like blacked out rather than showing stats and nations and stuff. But it doesn't really matter. It adds to the, it adds to the, to the levels of uh, anticipation on what rating the player is actually going to be. Uh, because with a new Ultimate team, uh, everyone's got new ratings and I can't exactly remember all of them. Uh, but what are we going to get from our rare Mega Pack here then? We get a German CDM from Dortmund. Who's that going to be? I uh, am Ray Chan, 83 overall. So a really well-statted card and actually someone that is always quite solid on Ultimate Team. Uh, but I don't know if he's really going for that much. I mean, he's untradeable. I can't do much with him. And I haven't really got a Bundesliga thing going on at the moment. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. A couple of Anchor Chem styles, a Man United kit. Some all right things in that pack and a couple of duplicates, obviously, that we can, uh, that we can deal with a bit later on. Uh, but this this right here is obviously what my team looks like with evolved uh, Danjuma, 83 overall rated. We've got we got like 29 chem or something. Uh, and I figured, hey, just to end things off for today, if I can get this um, level four foundations SBC group completed, I should have enough stuff in the club right now. You know, we I didn't do it back in back in the earlier days because my club was kind of running thin um, and running low on on literally players that link to each other uh, but now I've got some coins to work with to make things easier and I've got a load of players in the club uh, I don't mind paying for the odd player here to get this done to get an objective complete to end up giving me just a couple more coins and, and packs and that sort of thing so uh, I think your club comes out the other end of it a little bit better off than than before you started and you never know you might end up packing a silver player within this that is like ends up being a complete beast for evolution so be careful when you're submitting like silvers. If they look quite good, just be just be a little bit cautious before putting them into an SBC because you never know. They might be the one that pops up on social media uh, with all the uh, the fuck people that know what they're talking about. 
And they might be like, oh, if you've got this silver, stick him into evolutions and do this, this, and this, and you'll get an amazing 87 rated card. <clears throat> Curious to to know when the next one of those is gonna is gonna happen. Obviously, we had that Man United bronze fella. Uh, and there's also a um, La Liga centre back, I think, for Getafe that ended up if you put him into one and then you and then you ended up putting him into another. It's like he could fit in the welcome to evolutions. And then after that, because he is an evolved fa uh, player, you could put him into the Golden Glow Up Part 2 and end up with this kind of ridiculous 80 pace centre back from La Liga. Um, <clears throat> so there's there's some gems out there for sure. People have also been doing Gravenberch for Liverpool, haven't they? Uh, by using that very first uh, welcome to evolutions um, uh, evolution itself too. So it's, uh, yeah, let me know who you've done. So obviously we've got Oscar that we did with a very first evolution. Cameron Humphreys from Ipswich, who I have Golden Glow Up Part 1. And uh, I could still do Part 2 if I wanted to. We've also then got Samuel and Titi that we did the uh, Pacey Protector or whatever it was called. And now we've got our Founders Evolution in, uh, in Danjuma, uh, as well as the option to do... The winger one, which actually costs either coins or FC points um, or anything else like that. So, uh, yeah, essentially we're going to end it here for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 16 minutes of RTG goodness to get you through your lunch breaks today. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, should I sell Rolfo if she's still up at sort of 70, 80, 90,000 coins? Or should I keep hold and maybe she goes up even more? Or am I just going to use her in the team? Helps with chemistry for Oshoala, uh, but they are the two players that are off chem in my team currently. So maybe I need some more Barca women in the squad to make it work. Who knows? Um, if I could just pack Nike mad ready Alexia Putellas, that would be that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Uh, but yeah, my friends, thank you for watching today. If you have enjoyed, do me a favor and just smash the thumbs up button. Uh, as always, I'd absolutely love to see. Let's go for 6,000 likes today. If you can make that happen, my day will be made. Uh, subscribe as well to the channel if you're new. Uh, we are very close to 570,000 subscribers. So that'd be awesome to, to reach that. And then we're on the road to 600K, of course. Uh, and follow me on social media. The links are down below. Have a great day, everyone. Take it easy. Stay safe, stay healthy, all of that good stuff. And I really look forward to tomorrow when I get to speak to you all again. And we'll have some fun. Peace.